Hello everyone, today I am doing my planner video to show you my 2018 calendar and binder that I chose for this year. Once again, I went to Franklin Covey. I love their feminine, happy color selection in both their binders and inserts. Last year, I went for a really bright, vibrant floral set of inserts and a gold cover and this year I went for a really understated soft blush floral set of inserts. They're just gorgeous, completely different than last year but still very feminine and they make me happy. The binder is faux leather. This is it. This is the blush. It's the classic size. It comes in two sizes, I believe compact and this size. This is a ring binder, so everything is loose leaf. That's my preference. They also have spiral binders, I believe, in the same sizes. This is a snap closure. Last year's was a magnetic closure. This was mine last year, and it worked like this, a magnet. But this year, it is a snap, and it's gold just like the hardware inside and out, the little gold heart. I had no problem with the magnetic. I liked it, loved it, uh, but they changed it. I guess there were a lot of people who wanted a snap maybe. This works beautifully. I'm happy with both. On the left is my blush binder and it is the snap closure. The one on the right the ivory binder, it's actually a magnetic closure. It's from last season, but it's still available. Here is a floral binder and a stripe binder. Both of these are the new snap closure. And lastly, this is a patent leather navy binder. I believe this one is magnetic closure. Moving inside, they still have the beautiful polka dot lining, but the change they made, I'll show you my old one, is this flap here. I like it better. Um, it's, they don't have the, the window here like they did last year. They had a plastic window, which was fine, but I think this looks cleaner. Uh, more upscale. I just, I like the design better. They also made this pocket shorter so you can see more of the polka dots and I like that better. So here's the last year. This was my one last year and as you can see this comes up higher and it had the um, plastic window. Otherwise I think they look very similar. And then moving to the back, it's the same, at least looks like it to me. It has the pocket for a notepad, and then you've got the Planner Love logo at the bottom. Which brings me to the name of this. This is the Planner Love series. In fact, I've chosen binders and inserts from the Planner Love series the last, this will be my third year. And this is called well, this is called the color blush. My inserts I'm going to show you are called blush florals. But I'm going to start at the beginning and then take you through. So this is the, what do you call this? What do you call these? I'm going to have to look that up. Hold on. Dashboard. Don't know why I couldn't remember that. Well, I had never heard of a dashboard before a year or two ago. So. I'm proud I remember. <laughs> the dashboard is a plasticized piece of cardboard that you can stick sticky notes on. You can use dry eraser markers on it. I use it to put sticky notes and just fun items that coordinate with my binder and inserts. So that this is still available. In fact, everything I'm talking about I will list on my blog and that link with links and then that link to my blog will be down below. It will say I, all item links. So all you have to do is click on the link below and it'll take you right to my blog. 
So that's my dashboard. Then this also is a set I bought, was it last year, maybe two years ago, and is still available. It is five plastic pouches and uh, sleeves. I'll show you them as I go through it. Here is the zipper pouch, and I just keep all sorts of things in it. All my loose things that I, I want to corral that are small, I put in here. I can also put more pens in here. These are for cards or photos. I use them for both. Here I've just got some inspirational photos I found in magazines or catalogs. Behind all of this is another sleeve that's holding this together a long vertical sleeve, you can put a photo or whatever you like. And then of course you can use the back for another photo. And then I put business cards here, those are my business cards. And then these big sleeves are wonderful for big photos, pieces of paper. Um, these are pretty photos I found in magazines that I love, that I love looking at, photos of my family, you know more things from magazine that I think were gorgeous, inspirational ideas to remind myself. Then I get to the first section of my notebook. I don't know if I talked about this last year, but something I started doing either last year or the year before is a section, I heard someone call it brain dump, and I thought that was a funny name for it, but it made sense. In this section, I have my to-do list and my waiting for list. It's just anything I, I want to remind myself I need to do. And I've got it, now here's the to-do, um, and then here's the waiting for. Things like, whether it's personal or business or related to my blog, all of it gets dumped on the to-do list and I just cross it off as I do them. And then the waiting for is anything I might be waiting for, a phone call, an email, package that I've ordered, anything can, to, can go there. And then I keep loose leaf paper. I need lots of loose leaf paper for, for notes. Moving to the planner section. Here is where normally I would have my tab divider. Every year I ordered 12 tab dividers that coordinate with whatever planner and for some reason I didn't order them this year. I thought I did, but I thought I'm going to go ahead and do the video and I'll just make do and I thought well maybe I'll even be fine with what I come up with. It's fine, but it's I'm not loving it. It's not as sturdy as the tab dividers. They're pretty, they coordinate beautifully with the planner, so I'm definitely ordering them. They are a set of 12. Each one is a pattern, and the tabs are plasticized, so I can use my tape. In fact, I finally found, what's it called? It's removable. You can reuse it. You can remove it from paper. You can remove it from, it's almost like a sticky note but a little, probably a little stronger. It actually doesn't come in a uh, dispenser. This is just another dispenser I happen to have and it fit, but it's less if you buy it without the dispenser and I didn't need it. I have been looking everywhere for this stuff, so I will put this on my blog. I believe this is half inch times several hundred yards. I'll put the measurement down here. But this is wonderful for creating labels on something I want to reuse and not ruin with ballpoint ink or permanent ink. You can use either permanent ink or ballpoint ink on that also. In fact, it's what I use to do my labels back here. So I don't have my tab dividers yet, but let me show you what they look like in this photo. These are magnet clips. I discovered these through Franklin Covey. This is my third year ordering the clips that go with the planners. 
They are fabulous. These are the set from last year. There's a set of six. Um, all of these are available. Let me show you how these magnet clips work. They're really ingenious. They hold paper, they clip without hurting whatever you've clipped them to. So let me unclip it and show you this thing. Okay, so it's holding all these papers together. And all it is is a piece of cardboard with magnets behind it. And you just clip it to your paper and then you clip that paper to whatever it is you you want to attach it to because the magnets are strong enough to hold it. I just think that's so ingenious and that's what all of those are and they're called magnet clips. So neat. This is my pocket divider. I bought a set of four. I bought them last year in the pattern that matched with my planner last year as well. I put one in front of each month of my calendar and I actually put just three months of my calendar in my planner binder and then the rest I keep in a storage binder. This the reason I do that is then I have a lighter weight binder. I don't tend to plan that far in advance where I need to see it quickly at, at a glance. If I am planning that far advance, everything goes in my iPhone, appointments and everything, more so as a reminder of an alarm. <laughs> but I'll just put it in my calendar in the storage binder if it's a long-term appointment but I just keep three months. So for now I have February, March, and April. So when I get my tab dividers, the first one will be at February, the next one at March, then April, and then the rest will be used for my nine categories that have to do with my blog and YouTube channel. That's what this is. It's a really a working binder for me, for my channel. I don't tend to put personal things in here. Well, sometimes I do, but those are always in my phone. And I'm going to be doing a personal journal, I've decided, to list everything. I'm still working on the format, what I want to do, how big I want it to be, but I really want to do a journal and start journaling every day. And But this isn't where I would do that. This is more for business. So this is one of the four, four pockets. And this starts February. Now, this is part of the set I showed you of the sticky note from before here and from other sets as well and I searched and searched for some soft pastel sticky, sticky notes and I found these and I think they're so pretty with my planner. Let me tell you about the colors. I'm not sure if you're able to see on screen exactly what I'm seeing in real life. This is blush, I think that's coming off, but this is not really, this is not black and white. It's more of a very soft, it's almost like sepia, but not quite that red. It feels like it's got slight, it's like an aged look, almost a brownish tone. So it's not a harsh black, it's just beautiful. You can see the difference between black here and this. I just think it's lovely and the paper for the planner is an off-white so I was looking for off-white as well as white but I wanted blush or close to blush in terms of my sticky notes and I found them so let me show you what these look like they are two different sets and I will again put this all on my blog I don't know what the name of this company is but this is so nice So these come in a plastic box, so it's perfect for keeping on your desk. As you see, I just don't want them to all fall out. So handy as can be, I just took some of them and stuck them in my planner. So this says today, this says to do, remember, 
So cute and hard plastic. This one from Kate Spade is in a cardboard case that has these adorable gold foil leopard spots. These are gold foil and cream, which are very similar to the color of the pages of my planner. And these are the ones that are blush and white. And it's two different colors of blush. It's a pink blush and a peach blush. They're soft, soft colors. This one is the peach. I don't know if you can see that on camera. So those are what I have inside my planner. This is from a year or two years ago. It's no longer available, but I'll show you the page finder that I bought that is available. So I use it for my sticky notes. So let me show you the calendar planner. This is a week, weekly planner. That's my style. I love weekly planners. Each month has a different design down the spine, which makes it fun. And it's that soft, soft, ivory color. So the first page starting the month is the index. You also have a three months here, January, February, March. The index is handy, for example, when I have a conversation, I'll note that date and phone number uh, time in my weekly calendar but then I'll have the notes for it back in the back. If it's a conversation with a fashion brand, I'll put the notes under fashion. Well then, here is where I can index it. I didn't do that last year, but I'm going to be doing that this year. I haven't done anything in it right now because I wanted to keep it clean uh, and some of it's private, so I didn't want it on camera. So what I like about this particular planner is it also offers a month at a glance. That for me is so important. I want to look quickly, look at the full month, look to see which weeks are getting too full, which weeks are empty so I can put appointments in there. And you know, here I've just got Valentine's Day, my niece's birthday. It's not enough room to take notes or anything. It's just really for me to see at a glance what the plans are for the month. This is the page finder that comes with the planner. Now you can use it with the point up or with the point down. It's kind of upside down because the writing here is upside down, but I don't mind. I do that because I want this one to be right side up so I can see it. And I know the other one is upside down. I bought an extra one also, and I'll show you it's marking something. So that's the month. So this is what comes before every week. You have a personal column. You have a business column. This is called master task list. List. This is weekly tasks. I don't use these. So here's the start of the first week of February. It starts with the fifth Monday. So seven days here. And then to the right is a prioritized task list column, a notes column, and here is a week summary. After each week is a weekly notes page, a weekly tasks page. Here is the two other magnet clips from last year that I'm using. I'm just using them to mark Valentine's Day, my niece's birthday. You know, you can use them for all sorts of things. They're just so fun and very useful. So that's February. Let me show you March, which starts off with my second pocket divider. And of course, I will have a tab divider here so I can write March on the label. And March is a soft, gorgeous peach, very close to the color of the planner binder. Lovely. This is my third pocket marking April. I will have a tab divider here soon. I like to put invitations, uh, things I tear out of a newspaper of something coming up or tear out, out of a, a local magazine of an event coming up, that sort of thing, go in here. So that's April. So now we've come to my fourth pocket. But before I show you any further, let me show you the 
rest of the planner calendar so you can get a feeling what it looks like. So this is May. It's also floral and this is the binder. These are still available. I use it really just to store the remainder of my planner calendar for the year so it's not taking up space in my binder. So this is May. It also is floral, just a different floral. June is blush, pink, and cream stripes. July is these soft brown dots, sort of the sepia color of the flowers. It's pink, and these look like they're a soft, dark. These look like they probably are black dots and blush. More florals. October is this sepia tone brownish stripe. End of October into November and the soft blush to December is vibrant black and cream dots. Now, what's really nice about this planner, and they do this every year, is they give you extra pages with the pretty patterns for note taking. Lots of pretty, pretty different, all different patterns that all coordinate with each other. So that's it. Coming back to my planner that I'm using, I am now at my fourth pocket and I use this to mark my working section of my planner. And I have a page finder here. This is the blush florals that I use to mark it and it's pointed down. I know to go to it down here, but what a pretty pocket. Just love their pockets. Their artists are amazing. It has gold foil dots on it. So here I have lined paper and these are all my categories for my working section. They're categories of my YouTube channel or my blog. Uh, they're things I've photographed, things I've published, you know, what I've already filmed, what I've already uh, posted online. Uh, then I have my sections, beauty, health, fashion, on and on, Q&A. So let me get to the back of my planner and show you that notepad. So this is coordinated with the planner. It's the blush florals. The floral is down here, but then on the back it has a pretty stripe along the spine. So all the same, but this is great because it can go in the binder. I forgot to mention this pen, if you noticed it, it has crystals in the barrel. It's a ballpoint pen. Now this is quite old, but over the years I have seen them available online. So if I can find a similar one online, I will post it on my blog. Here's what it looks like. So that is my 2018 planner and binder in blush floral with a blush snap binder. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you so much for watching it and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.